What's up guys, Tucker Singer here with SNS Smithing. Uh, it's been a long time. Let's talk about it. So guys, it's been about a, I think almost a year since the last video I put up. Uh, things been crazy. Uh, some of you may or may not know I got a job as a welding teacher. So this past year, getting adjusted to doing that along with all of the new COVID restrictions and when I was at work I was making videos for the classes and because not all the students were able to be in the school at the time and just a lot of hecticness so by the time I was done doing all that stuff and come home I wasn't in the mood to deal with video stuff I don't know and between that and the rest of regular life I haven't had a lot of time to make videos or even get in the shop a whole lot in general. So uh, a couple other things real quick before we jump into what's what I've been up to is the shops and some disrepair. To be honest with you, the roof uh, still isn't getting much better. Uh, everything's still pretty smashed up. And then to boot with that, we had a tree fall on my house roof just a week or so ago. It's been storming pretty good lately. So, it's been doing that. So, now that you guys have been kind of caught up on what all has been going on, we're going to get into the, uh, we're going to get into what's coming. So guys, what's new is I've been focusing a bit more on the welding side of things in the shop lately. Uh, not so much for I'm done forging or anything like that. No, I'm still going to keep doing that. And I'm looking at, once I get the shop straightened away here shortly, I'm going to get back to doing that. But what I mean is uh, I've been getting, working on getting more weld repair work because it's more in demand around my area than a lot of the forging work is, like for custom knives and tools and stuff like that. The welding stuff's more, I get more business that way. So that's what I've been working on a bit more lately, so... How I plan on doing that is I got a big generator. I'll show you here in a moment because they don't have an engine drive machine. So I got a big generator that I can run my welders off of and stuff. I got a hitch done on my car because I don't have a truck. And uh, so the plan is I'm going to start doing mobile welding as a little business that's attached along with the shop. So I'll show you the generator and stuff and we'll get into a couple other things here. Alright guys, All right, guys. so here is the generator, it's WEN 1100 watt dual fuel generator, it's got a 50 amp plug, a 30 amp plug, four, uh, was it, 20 amp plugs, a little cigarette lighter style plug, it'll run off of gas or propane, which I think is good because, you know, with the forge, my main forge being gas, I can run it off of my big tanks and I'm basically the plan is aside from using this for mobile welding I'm gonna take the shop and try to run it off grid because I don't have a whole lot of big equipment so this should be able to handle it just fine so we can have the shop off grid and for the propane hookup all it is a little hose that screws in and comes to this here connector you just hook it up to a tank now this end here doesn't quite fit onto my large tanks so I'll have to get an adapter for that but it runs off barbecue grill tanks and all you gotta do to switch it is just flip the switch from gas to propane now I've used it to run stuff whenever we've lost power here at the house whenever things whenever the storm's been coming through and it runs pretty good it doesn't have any problems with nothing act doesn't act up it's already broke in so the only thing is she's a bit loud I'll give her that so combat the loudness I've kind of built a quiet box for the generator and it goes in here basically what I did I took a uh, wire dog kennel and I covered the whole thing in spray foam to deaden the sound a bit more I also cut one of those walls out so I can access all the plugs and stuff pretty easy and it's just kind of on a big hinge with a box fan wired into the back to suck out all the exhaust and heat and fumes and stuff. And so you see it's a whole lot of spray foam. 
That way it's light, it's portable, I can take it wherever I need to. And it does cut down the sound a good bit. So, plan is, once I get the shop situated, this all's going to live out back of the shop. I'm going to get cords and adapters and stuff to run the generator, to make the generator run the shop. So, between that, so guys, uh, that's kind of what I've been up to lately, is just kind of getting the shop to go off-grid, along with getting the mobile welding stuff set up. So, been a little bit busy with that here and there. And then, like I said, it's just kind of taking a break from things, because... This year with starting the new job and then COVID coming in and making it even more complicated on top of that because I never taught before. So now I'm teaching and I had to adjust to all the COVID stuff on top of that. It was a little bit crazy. So what the plan is now, uh, I have summers off. So it's kind of, it's midway through the summer already. Like I said, I was still taking a break and getting all this stuff set up. So plan is get back into the shop, get things going. Uh, get everything set up with the mobile welding. Maybe take you guys along for all of that. Uh, do a bit more of a review on my welder, on some of my welders and stuff like that. And get the shop all reorganized. So, if you guys would be interested in seeing some things like vlog type videos with the shop getting straightened back out and all that, uh, please let me know if you'd like to see that. Also, uh, in the time off, I've gotten some uh, mail. I don't remember if I covered the one in my last video or not, but I got uh, stickers from uh, Champion Forge, and then I also got, or more so, Fang was first addressed on this uh, last uh, mail. It was uh, Fang Singer from uh, Rob over at Granddad's Forge who sent us some stickers. So that's going to go onto the sticker cabinet. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. We're at a look. We're at about 800 and almost 50 subscribers right now. We're like 840 something at the moment. So thank you guys for sticking around and still growing, even though I haven't been the most active lately. I appreciate it. Uh, like I said, we're gonna work on getting back into things. It might not be super uh, consistent content like it used to be. Like every, like before, I think I was doing like one or two videos a week. Now we might do maybe monthly or maybe try to get back to weekly if I can get everything set up right. But figured out you guys deserve to know what's been going on. So thank you guys again. You guys, also, uh, now that I'm working at a tech school teaching welding, uh, we just got we got some new equipment in the shop as well. We got a CNC plasma cutter. I've been learning how to run and showing kids how to run that when I got it figured out. And in amongst doing that, I made a pretty neat thing. I'm very sure you guys also got some pictures and stuff of that. I'll throw in the video so you guys can see. And a couple other things I've been working on. We'll put in a little slideshow montage type thing to show you some of the projects and stuff I've kind of been dealing with lately. Along with some step-by-step -step pictures of the uh, generator quiet box and a few other things that I can dig up while I'm throwing this together. So... Here, I'll show you the uh, thing I made real quick. So, I drew, I designed, and cut out the uh, shop logo here on the CNC plasma cutter. Now, this was a little while ago, so it's a little rusty and stuff because I haven't done anything with it yet. But I was planning on either making it a shop or just keeping it around as just a sign I could put up in the videos here and there. So, let me know if you think it should be just a shop sign that I hang up or just keep it in for stuff for the videos. I don't know. I like it turned out pretty good here. We got the anvil, the gator head, SNS, and the smithing. I think it turned out pretty good. This is the one of the first things I completely drew up from scratch, uh, programmed, and had it cut out on the plasma cutter. So this was the first successful thing that we made, which was pretty cool. So I'll probably in the future might have a few clips of that running here or there. And maybe some stuff about some of the projects. If you guys like to see that, let me know. So, right now we're going to get started on a little project montage stuff. Right now.
Alright guys, so, that's where I've been all this time, the past year or so, and I know, uh, Ben over at uh, Cold Dragon Forge did call me out on bringing back some videos and stuff about finishing my knife and things, because I've been gone for a while. I saw it, I don't know, just things have been crazy, you know, like I said, I started a new job doing something totally different than I ever did before, I never thought I'd be teaching, so, that's cool, I enjoy the job, and just a lot of things to get used to is all. So, guys, let me know if you're still out there willing to see more of the content. And if you want to see things like the progression of the shop getting built back up and uh, the mobile welding stuff, let me know about that because I got some stuff lined up for that. And we could probably do, if anybody's interested, we could do some welding tutorials as well. I know there's a lot of content that can do it better. I don't have anything to do good arc shots or anything like that. So, it's going to take a little give or take there. I can do best I can explaining things if people have questions or even just showing you the best I can with what I got around here. But that's where I've been. Uh, pretty exciting I think and I think the things coming up is going to be good. We're going to do some pretty cool stuff in the future I think. So Tucker Singer, SNS Smithing. Remember guys, forge your fate. We'll be back here soon.